Gauteng motorists are slowly trickling into this e-tag registration centre on the M1 highway near the Bayers Nordia off-ramp. Most agree that e-tolls are wrong in principle, but they feel that the cost of not buying an e-tag will simply be too high. I purchased an e-tag over the weekend because I don't really have a choice. I do a thousand kilometres a week and uh, for me to go and argue this in court every time is just not going to be feasible. I'm just hoping South Africans can punish them at the uh, elections next year. If you drive a car, it's a must. You have to register. I know our government might be robbing or it might be robbing us, but we have to. There's no other way. I'm being taxed. On everything, everywhere I go, they tax me, which uh, this tax things they use it for a road, improve infrastructure in South Africa. But this, to pay for every, what is it? It's every kilometer. But that, I think it's, it's unfair. We just haven't time for courts and the, the mileage that my two cars travel on this, on this road. It's just not worth it. And uh, that's it, really. You might, if you can't beat them, join them. We spoke to Howard Dembovsky from the Justice Project, which has actively campaigned against e-tolls. Absolutely no way that I'm getting an e-tag. I've said it publicly, and I'll say it again publicly. I'm not getting an e-tag. I'm not paying e-tolls. fact is, we've had Nazir Ali and the Minister of Transport come to you and say, if you don't have, have an e-tag uh, and you're not registered with Sanrail, you're going to pay almost double. Liar, liar, liar. The fact is, if you're not registered with Sanro and you don't have an e-tag, you will pay 5.8 times the rate that a person who does have an e-tag will pay. You'll pay three times the advertised tariffs on these ports. Dembovsky maintains that South Africans should not buy e-tags and has dared the Ministry of Transport and Sanro to prosecute him. Prosecute me. I am driving on your freeways. I'm not paying. Get it?